reason that the climate can form mountains is through erosion and stripping away rocks, particularly in what become valleys, so that the peaks can pop up around them. But that only works provided you have thickened up the crust and pushed up the surface of the earth in the first place. So we need the forces of plate tectonics where continental blocks crash together and squish the crust and make it thick. That has to happen first. Um, so for example, I like to joke that if you like live in Amsterdam, it rains quite a lot in, ne in the Netherlands, but they're not going to have any mountains because there's no crust or thickening. They're already at sea level. Um, so erosion essentially destroys topography, doesn't build it, but uh, what, what we saw in Asia was that the erosion that is caused by the Asian monsoon allows deep buried rocks to come up to the surface. Uh, and essentially that only, the reason that the Himalayas are big and uh, like that now is because the crust is super thick in a place like Tibet. So it only works if you rain on something like the Tibetan Plateau or on the Altiplano or something like that, but not, not at low level. So we're not going to build mountains when it rains in Louisiana. For example. So, so it's more like a sculpture and you've got the big block and he creates That's something. That's right. Like but so the, the comparison is between North and South Tibet, so like in Western China, in the north side of the Tibetan Plateau, it's deserts, it's dry, so there are mountains along the north coast, the north of the Tibetan Plateau, but they're quite small compared to the Himalayas. On the south side, we have the Himalayas, and the reason that the Himalayas are on the south side, not on the north side, is because of the monsoon rains.